Hey everybody, I'm back, and this time we have some fan-made pins. Uh, <laughs> this is Vanguard Armory Pins, and I think this is the third time that I'm making a pin video on him. And again, there, there are so many pins that he's made. Uh, so this is, you can see some of the other videos, I'll link them in the chat below. Uh, but this is gonna be a long one, because I have one, two, three bags, uh, and maybe one more <laughs> later. Uh, so let's just dive right in uh, and see some of the pins. Uh, that we've got in the mail today. Okay, so first of all, oh yes. All right, here we go. So we have the Taking King. We've got two variants of them. Really, really pretty. As you can see close up, uh, we've got a spicy ramen ticket. I think I still have this in my inventory. Ooh, and this is, this is really nice. You can see kind of, uh, you can feel the differences between the red uh, and the sort of silver black that's in there. Um, really well done pin. Lot, it was, it's smaller than I thought, but I like how, I like how small it is. That's, that's really pretty. And then, man, this is, I forget what, I think this might be a class of one of the enemy factions or war hunt, warlocks. Warlocks. I think they're evil. I, I don't know. I don't know. I play a Titan, so we'll have to see. Um, but really well done. Warlock Sigil uh, and the gold variant. I think I have some more variants, so we'll we'll see in that. Um, and then we've got... Oh, so this is one of the badges. I'm going to actually take this off. Reagan, I really like this one. I've ordered some more of these because these are similar to what Bungie puts out. Um, but this is actually from Destiny 1. Let me see... Vanguard Armory still has that on the back. Love that. Um, but really, really well done. Destiny 1. We've got sort of the fire team, you know, all six going into the raid. That's great. That's really a well done pin. A little, little larger than normal pins than, you know, something like this. Um, but really great because we didn't get these these seals uh, for Destiny 1. So this is a great, great thing to have and, you know, really special. And that's probably you and, you know, your five fire team members, the one guy that always blows himself up, the one guy that carries the team, the one guy that's chewing on the microphone all the time. You know what I'm talking about. Um, I put them over here and over here just so we see all of them. Uh, okay, <laughs> this one's fun. So this is the, uh, this is the comrade pin, I think it's called, um, for Saint-14, because he's Russian, and you have the hammer and the sickle. And, uh, yeah, it's like an old old Russian thing that's Soviet sort of looking seal. I like that one. That's a lot of fun. So I'll put that over there. And these, they're just, they're so minimalist and just super clean, these lines. If you can pick one up, they're really great. I like seeing those. Okay, we got a, we got a whole bunch. We got to move through these. Okay. All right. Yep. Okay. So we got the rest of two more warlocks two hunters and the three gorgeous titan emblems um the class sigils or whatever you want to call them emblems really really well done let me take one of these hunters off just so you can see it because this one man is this like miami colors this green i don't know it's pretty but this pin wow this was this is well done to get all of that in there look how detailed those cuts had to be and to get these backings on. Well done, Reagan. Don't know if I love the green, but do love that that detail in that pin. That's gonna be a really nice one to have in there. Okay, we'll put these off to the side. And then we have, again, Divinity. So the Divinity, one of the variants of that. Uh, looks like we've got a Kel sword. So one of the Fallen, uh, and then two Thunderlord variants, I want to say. Um, super, super detailed. Tons and tons of details. So these pins are about the size of the Bungie ones, maybe a little bit smaller, but way, way more details we see in these. Even, yeah, even in the Divinity. Love that. Some great blues. Really detailed cuts in there. Well done. And the sword, again, not super detailed, but really nice you see like that arcing energy that's on there that's really really love those details and even like the 
like leather in the the sword know, hilt handle whatever you call it it's really cool i've died to that many times from captains just yeah okay we've got the actual thunderlord here we've got a variant of the not forgotten and we have vanguard armory his his sigil in a pin on the traveler and this one is not coming out um but this one's really pretty and this is great because i'm going to put this probably probably at the middle of my collection of vanguard pins because it's really cool it's the traveler you can see sort of some of the damage that happened on the traveler and then vanguard armory there really really pretty pin not too big that's great there, that there and then again not forgotten sticker thank you that's great love that one Okay, we're through bag one, and it's only taken us six minutes. Let's look at bag two. Okay, oh, ho, ho. you guys are going to be excited about this. What do we got? Okay, we have not forgotten. This one, I love how it was huge. You know, compared to, like, Lord of Wolves, or, or it's big. But this gun, it deserves a big pin, because it was such a difficult pin, especially at the beginning, the first two, three seasons to get it. To get up to 5,500 against a legend in in comp was just something else. Um, even with Luna's Howl, you know, getting it, just getting not forgotten. Anytime I saw that in Crucible, I feared people. And then I was able to get it, and I was like, all right, they're they're pretty good. But yeah, so this is, I love love how big it is. Love, love that it's like that. Then we got Lord of Wolves. And you can see there's sort of this like orange burnt look. Again, tons and tons of details. Um, and then we've got, I don't think this is Shepard. No, this is, this is Perfect Paradox. So this is St. 14's gun. I think it's a variant. I don't know if it's the original one. Um, uh, Brother Vance would be very jealous that we have a Perfect Paradox. Um, even if it isn't the original one, he would, he would still be stoked. Uh, but that's a great, great pin. And that was a fun mission getting it from, uh, getting it from St. 14 uh, and like fighting beside him in Destiny 2. So love Love that one. And then we've got, oh, Tex, Tex Mechanica. I think it's their, their sigil. So we've got a, uh, a white version and a red version. Um, just a really, really clean logo. Super simple. Love that. They make some great guns. Okay. Oh, all right. You guys ready for this one? I'm going to hide it because it's so neat. Oh. Okay, so let's start at the bottom. We have, wait, oh, it's a catch. Do you see what I did? I caught, I catched the catch. Anyway, so this is a catch. Love this one. Um, the Fallen, tons of detail in this. You know, they're, they're talked about as pirates and sort of cobbling things together. And you can really tell that into the design of this ship, right? Looks like it's built for speed, but you have all these things sort of like bolted on and, and added on and um, really did a good job of, of capturing that in a pin and, and looking like it's in motion. Uh, and then we've got the Trials of Osiris, the Eye of Osiris for, you know, getting those nine wins back in Destiny 1 when that was a thing. Before you only had to get seven now. Um, really, really well done. You can kind of see the crack that's there. That's there by design, you know, of looking at it. It's really pretty. And then this, this is a super special pin. So, as you know by three videos that I made for Vanguard, I've been collecting Vanguard Armory pins since the very beginning, a full year. So this, this super special pin is to commemorate a year of him making pins. And Reagan, this is, that's gorgeous with the glitter in there and just the darkness. Um, I love it. This, I think these two are going to probably be the center of the collection. I'll try and, when I get a, a board for it, just build everything out around it because that's just so neat. And it's a good focal point uh, to build off of. So thank you so much for adding that. And I'll continue my support if you keep continuing making really, really cool pins. So those are there. All right. And we still have one more to get through. Thank you guys for watching this. And this one's funny because this has taken, before I open it, this has taken like, I think it was like 59 days or 60 days because of COVID on shipping. And it looks like it got a little beat up. I'll show you. You can see the card and the, uh, you can't really tell by the, the packaging, but it, it got pretty beat up in the mail and that's not Reagan's fault. It's COVID and the craziness that we've had for the last six months. Um, 
but here, here's what we've got. So we've got the ammo sense uh, from Destiny 1. And this is really cool because it's so funny they made these, right? Because they had the regular ammo sense. Um, mostly you were probably using, you know, one of these two, either the heavy ammo, special ammo. But it's funny, they had the regular ammo, I guess, if you uh, if you ever needed them. Um, pins are in great condition. And yeah, you can go back to Destiny 1 if you want to get reminded of them. And now we've got pins if you want to pick those up. All right, what else? What else was in this special little little gift here? Oh, a couple more stickers. <laughs> oh, this is great. <laughs> I hope you can see the whole detail. So this is Riven with Pants. This must be some... I think this was a Destiny joke. It must have been on Twitter or, or Instagram or something. But <laughs> you have the last Ahamkara and somebody put some cursed pants on her. She's still gorgeous, even with even with the pants. Oh, and then we've got Oryx's Dreadnought. I love this. I love the naming of it. I loved watching that cutscene. You guys remember in Destiny 1, just absolutely epic. Absolutely epic. That's a great sticker. Add that there. Um. Oh. Oh, they're adorable. Little baby darkness ships. Oh, little little Dorito guys. Another catch sword. So I, I got two catch. Maybe uh, maybe I'll do a giveaway with this guy. Uh, let me think about that. We might have a, a fan giveaway. I'll talk to Reagan about that, see if he's he's down to do it. But yeah, two little darkness ships and a, a little fallen, fallen sword. Excited about that one. Almost there. Oh, sticking a little bit. Please hold. Oh, yeah. Okay. And we've got Trials gear. So here we've got the Hunter, the Warlock, and the Titan. And I really, I think there's also a silver version. I don't know if I picked it up in this particular package. Um, but I just, I love, love, love the gold. I love the Hunter, how it looks like it's like the eye is like the eye of Osiris. And you can see it here. And the Warlock, you know, it has like this visor of where the eyes would go, but Man, I just, I love that gold. I might have to pick up the silver as well. Um, but these match some of Reagan's original pins, some of Vanguard Armory's original pins. Uh, he made three different exotic helmets, so this will this will match with those quite well. I'm excited about that. And then, what do we have? Uh, okay, this one I'm excited about. Oh, and this is fun because this is, okay, so these, you know, these came in the regular packaging. This, I think, is the blueberry seal. And this came in some great, I don't even know how he sealed these, but thank you. This is, this is really good. Hold on. Pulling it out. Oh, check this out. Oh, man. We've got the bunny. I love that little sticker there. Little jade rabbit action. It's a cool one. 380 blueberry by day. BBBD. Oh, I bet this is a collaboration with Slumlord. Ah, I I'm gonna ask about this. I I think because this is Slumlord's uh his his thing his branding I guess his gamer tag. I bet he was the one that said it. This is great. <laughs> oh, this is so good. So this is blueberry. And and if you know Destiny, you know blueberries. But anytime you go into the wild or you're playing with anybody in Crucible, anyone that shows up as a blueberry or a blue person is somebody that's not on your fire team. And you just see in here, this it's got actual little blueberries. My family actually grows blueberries. So I might buy another one of these and give it to my dad because he grows blueberries. And maybe he wants a blueberry, blueberry pin. And maybe he'd go to a blueberry convention and wear this. And somebody in the Destiny community would be like, yo, do you play Destiny? And he'd be like, nah, my son does. Anyway, love this pin. You can see a little bit, I don't know, it might need a little bit of polishing right there. You can kind of see a little line there and on the blueberry as well. But really, really well done pin. I love that. It's a funny one. Awesome. That's killer. And then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight, nine. I wonder why there's nine. I think there's some joke in here that I'm completely going over my head. 
or maybe not. One, two, three, four, blueberry. Maybe it's when you're playing Cruise or uh, Gambit and you have a blueberry. I don't know. Yeah. Yep. I think this is uh, this is Slumlord and Cape right there. That's great. Anyway, killer. Really well done. Love it, guys. Awesome. Vanguard, thank you. These are some amazing pins. I can add it to the other 500 pins I have. I need you to slow down just a little bit on the pin making because I can only make so many videos so many times a week without just looking like a complete shill for Vanguard Armory pins. Um, but love them. They're really fun. Stoked to add them to my collection. Thank you guys for watching. I know this was a super long video, uh, but I had a lot of fun opening them and, uh, Let's see, we might do a, a little giveaway for you guys for watching all the way to the end. I'll uh, link the description in the chat below. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.